thank you for visiting us. Uh, today we're actually going to go over Texas Technology Applications 242 practice uh, questions. Before we get started, please visit us at firstyeartexasteachers.com. We have a lot of free resources and tools uh, to help you through this exam. I personally know how frustrating this exam is to take. Uh, and so we have a plentiful amount of resources as well as a study guide uh, there at firstyeartexasteachers.com. So our first sample question, uh, a teacher is showing students how to set algorithms in Excel. He wants a total amount from cells uh, C4 to C8. What is the most efficient way for him to do that? <laughs> and so because this is a technology exam, most of us computer people should, should be somewhat knowledgeable. But let's go ahead and break this down. Uh, one, Excel, we should know, is very efficient. So having this drawn out, like it's a possibility, but they're looking for the most efficient way. And doing this by this by this is obviously not efficient. So see, we can cross that right out the bat, uh, cross that off right out the bat. And then D, uh, for some reason, this looks more familiar to me than this. So I'm going to cross out D right off the bat as well. So I'm giving myself a 50 50 chance here and, and this is almost identical to the exam these these answers and questions so you know you you will see this and so for those of you who may be not as inclined in excel you should understand by breaking down the question these really don't look efficient and so we're looking at these two very similar and this doesn't apply to all questions but sometimes you know they apply them very similar because you know, one of them's right, but that doesn't apply to all the questions in this exam. So, <laughs> being a knowledgeable and doing many spreadsheets uh, through college and, and even in the workplace, I, I know A is the right answer. But for those even not inclined, you should this should still kind of kind of throw you off. Uh, some negative sign, uh, you know. Excel sheets are very mathematical, so that's going to throw it off. But but having this previous knowledge of Excel really helps, and th this question's kind of straightforward. But even if it's not, you can break down the question and break down the answers from there. So you know, either you answer this within a second, or you need time to break it down. But it's still possible to get this question right. A treasurer is trying to keep track of the finances for the coding club. What needs to be taken into account before setting up the spreadsheet? Type of data, the kind of software that will help identify the algorithms used, how many cells needed, the different type of sheets he needs. So <laughs> again, being a tech person, uh, you know, for me, and it's kind of an advantage that I used to, I had an internship in college uh, with the, um, with the software company and then I, I left teaching for some time to go back into uh, the tech world and so uh, I <laughs> my background really isn't fair uh, but knowing the type of data it, it is going to be very uh, important but let's break down the, the question um, before setting up you know like that's this is before anything before you get into specifics like how many cells different types of sheets before anything, uh, you know, you're gonna have to know what kind of data you're putting in, and it applies to anything. Uh, you know, you're not gonna develop an app without understanding, like, well, is this, you know, we gonna put in login information, or are we gonna put in, you know, people's um, identity information, like their height, their weight, like, you know, so. Uh, before anything, and that, that's a key with the question, before, like maybe during, it, it'd be different, but before, you know, you want to get the general overview, and, and this question helps students, it kind of throws it off, uh, you know, like it's, it applies to students, but it's not answering the specific question, you know, we're not really asking what the students are doing or what the students need to take into account. Uh, we're, we're thinking about the type of data, and so that, that's kind of how these questions are based. Uh, in the technology applications. So like I said, please visit us at First Year's Texas Teachers. Uh, we have, you know, Pixar in a Box link, 
Uh, we have like sample questions and we even have a guide for you to purchase to where you're like, listen, I don't want to research all this stuff. I just want to pass. I just got to get that 240 or higher. Uh, just read our reviews. Uh, we have an awesome guarantee for this. So please check us out at First Year's Texas Teachers.